in this exercise, we'll be implementing the feedback mechanism. Now, for implementing the feedback or the callbacks, you need to create the protocol. So, I'll be creating a protocol of a SOAP tip parser called SOAP tip parser delegate, which will confirm NS object protocol. So, we'll be demonstrating it will be a formal protocol which will contain one required method and one optional method. So, in that exercise, in this exercise, we'll be covering more of protocols and also how optional protocol is handled and how the required protocol is handled. So I'll create say function which says did receive tips. I'll call terror tip terror safety tips which is an array of tip model. Okay. Now for writing the optional, I need to create an optional, but you will get an error when you write an optional word. So because Swift protocol doesn't support optional right now, so you have to say Objective C at the rate Objective C protocol. Now optional word will be allowed. So say optional function did receive error. So we'll make error as optional function now in order to these are the methods right in object oriented programming you need an object to call this method so that object will be will be calling it as delegate and it will be of type soap tip parser delegate so basically whichever class confirms this protocol can be a potential receiver of this method. So now there are three places that where you can send a callback. First, in did fail with error, where your error occurs, your control agent says, boss, I'm done with my work. Did and document when he says I'm completely successfully implemented my work, or pass error occurred where he fails to perform the work during the processing. So there are two callbacks where error can go, and there's only one callback where tips can go so i'll comment this line so i'll be writing say if delegate is not equal to nil so basically there is some receiver inside the delegate okay now you will file call delegate did receive tips and you'll pass the tips okay so when end document comes, if a, someone is listening to this SOAP tip parser, he will be sending the did receive tips. Now did receive tips being a required method, you are not checking whether the receiver is implementing that method or not. You are just blindly giving the callback. Whereas in did fail with error, we'll first check if delegate is not nil. We'll check whether the delegate is implementing that method or not. The receiver is implementing that method or not. So there is another checkpoint. We'll say delegate response to selector. So here we have to pass the function name. So basically, we never pass the function name as an argument. So you can always pass function name as an argument, which we call function pointer. In Swift, we use a word called selector. So here we need to pass the function name called did receive error. So I'm passing the function name called did receive error. Now, if the receiver or the listener is implementing did receive error, then only the callback will be sent, else the callback won't be sent. Now, being an optional, you have to put exclamation mark. So there's an extra check happens for sending the callback to the optional method. The call check will be that is a listener implementing this method or not. So we have completed implementing the protocols, the feedback mechanism policy inside your agent class by creating the protocol and creating your delegate reference. And we saw how to handle the optional method and the required method. In the next exercise, we'll start implementing those callbacks inside the controller and inflating the